Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be reviewing the Kylie Cosmetics Stormy Lip Kits. So I know she came out with three different ones and I got two of them. I can't remember the names, but obviously I'm going to open them up and try them on for you guys. So it's been a really long time since I've done a Kylie Cosmetics review and I'm really excited because she just came out with these and I think the colors look really pretty. Um, I just wanted to see what they look like on me and let you guys know. So yeah. Okay, so these are my lip kits in the box. I'm really excited because the packaging is so cute. Um, the two lip kits I got were Give Me Butterflies and Head in the Clouds. Um, this one, the pink one, is Head in the Clouds and this is Give Me Butterflies. These are also like mini lip kits so they're not like the full size which is fine because honestly the big one I don't use up the whole thing um, but it's like the packaging is just so cute you know I love it. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. So I just finished applying the first one. This is Head in the Clouds and it's definitely a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Um, I was thinking it would be more of like a mauve, kind of purplish color or maybe like a dark pink. So I definitely feel like it would need a little more manipulation for me to wear it out, like a darker lip liner, more of like a cranberry kind of color, just to darken it up a little bit because it is a little brighter than what I would want to wear, which is why I really like making these review videos because I just want to show people how much lipstick can change and really look different on different people so it's hard to kind of go based off what Kylie's look looks like kind of right here um, without really knowing what it's going to look like on yourself so I'm trying to make these videos just to help people out um, when trying to buy products just so they could see okay so I just took the first one off which was head in the clouds and now I'm going to be trying give me butterflies so this packaging is also super pretty it's yellow and it has glitter and little um, butterflies over it and here is the lipstick and the liner just from a first impression it looks very similar to the gimme butterflies this seems like a softer pink um, and this seems like a brighter pink so I'm gonna put in like a side-by-side -side picture um, this one has like more peachy kind of nude vibes so I'll be excited to see what that looks like and then the liner same kind of thing. The only problem I have with her liners is that I wish they were retractable so you could basically like roll it up and get more just because the type of material it's not really good for a pencil sharpener. You almost need to buy her sharpener for it and I just don't have the time nor do I want to do that. I'm gonna put this one on and then yeah we'll see. Okay, so this is the second lip kit on, and this is the Give Me Butterfly shade. I already feel like I'm much more comfortable wearing this color out. It's not as bright as the other one. It definitely has like softer nude vibes. I still tend to like darker lip liners and then lighter lipstick, so I think I'm gonna also manipulate this one a little bit. I'm also gonna make sure I insert pictures of me like outside of the video so you can kind of see what it looks like in different lighting. Also, I'd like to say that before I put on my lip kits, I always put chapstick on first, so sometimes it kind of affects the way the lip liner gets put on just because it's kind of like glossy. Um, but I feel like my lips don't feel dry whenever I do that before a matte lip so right now I feel like the moisture is basically being locked in. So yeah, overall I have to say I'm happy with what I got. Um, both colors seem a little more similar than I thought they were going to be but when on I feel like they look a lot different. So I hope you guys like this video. As always, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Be sure to leave any video suggestions you guys have for me below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.